$2,000 stimulus, check approval, update, and SSA SSI SSDI disability benefits payment update. The Social Security program provides essential retirement and disability benefits for tens of millions of Americans each month. Ensuring the long-term sustainability and adequacy of these benefits is of critical importance to both current and future generations of retirees and beneficiaries. While there are certainly challenges ahead, there have also been some promising signs that with action, the future of this vital program can remain strong. To begin, one of the most immediate and impactful updates centers around the cost of living adjustment, COLA, for 2025. Each year, this adjustment is made to increase Social Security payments to help keep up with rising costs. For the upcoming year, beneficiaries can expect a 2.5% increase on average. On the surface, a COLA may seem like a small thing. However, for those fully reliant on fixed Social Security incomes, even slight increases help retain purchasing power in the face of inflation. The projected 2.5% COLA for 2025 is also notable because it suggests inflation may be slowing somewhat from recent highs, though concerns remain that the adjustment still does not fully account for seniors' real expenses. Food costs alone have increased over 20% in the past three years, according to some estimates. Healthcare and housing expenses are also disproportionately burdening retirees. While a lower inflation rate is welcome, advocates argue more must be done to ensure COLAs accurately reflect the spending realities faced by the nation's elderly. In addition, not all beneficiaries will see the same boost from next year's COLA. Those with higher benefit amounts are actually in line for larger percentage increases, potentially up to 3% in some cases. On the other side, lower income recipients may see adjustments closer to just 2%. These variable changes are tied to the COLA calculation formula. For some, the tiered approach could lessen the impact of inflation but it also risks further widening disparities in the social security system over time. Looking further ahead, one of the most pressing long-term challenges concerns the impending depletion of the social security trust funds. These reserves, built up over decades from payroll tax contributions, help ensure benefit checks can keep being sent out even during economic downturns when tax revenues decline. However, the latest projections indicate the combined trust funds could be depleted as soon as 2035. After that point, incoming tax receipts would only cover around 80% of scheduled benefits unless action is taken. Should the funds run dry without reforms, around one in five Social Security recipients could see over a 20% cut to their monthly payments. With more than 65 million Americans collecting benefits, the potential impact of such widespread reductions cannot be overstated. The need to strengthen the program's financing base and prevent such a scenario has been increasingly urgent. Yet to date, proposals in Congress aimed at extending the trust funds have not gained bipartisan traction. Though the long-term shortfall is real and demands solutions, one study reference does offer a glimmer of hope if history is any guide. In 1983, the Social Security system faced a similarly dire outlook. However, through bipartisan cooperation the Greenspan Commission agreements were enacted. Reforms like gradual tax increases and delaying benefits aligned the system for stability over the following decades. The same type of solution-driven spirit again today could stabilize projected revenue and outlays well into the next century. On the economic assistance front, while the pandemic relief programs have now largely concluded, one source stated lawmakers may be looking at approving another round of direct payments this winter. Specifically mentioned was a push in Congress for $2,000 stimulus checks targeted towards Social Security beneficiaries, along with those receiving SSI, SSDI, or VA benefits. If passed, such additional funds could provide a welcome boost for millions of seniors and disabled Americans nationwide on fixed incomes. While the future security of Social Security benefits presents complex challenges, signs of progress remain as well. Upcoming cost of living adjustments will help preserve purchasing power to some degree. Bipartisan will to address long-term shortfalls through balanced reforms also seems achievable if consensus proposals can gain traction. Additional economic support measures may also be on the horizon. With continued research, advocacy, and cooperation between all stakeholders, there is reason to believe this foundation of America's retirement system can remain sound for generations to come. As discussed, the Social Security program faces serious fiscal shortfalls if no action is taken. 
The projected depletion of the combined trust funds by 2035 leaves little time to craft and implement solutions. However, with political will and public support, reforms exist that can strengthen the system's finances for decades to come. Some of the most commonly proposed options deserve closer consideration. Raising or removing the payroll tax cap is one approach gaining attention. Currently, only wages up to $147,000 per year are subject to the 12.4% Social Security payroll tax shared by employees and employers. Income above this threshold faces no further tax. Adjusting this cap could generate substantial new revenues. Options range from a total removal to simply raising the cap to cover 90% of all wages, as in the 1980s. Over 10 years, one study found a total cap removal would add over $1 trillion to the trust fund. More moderately, increasing the cap to cover 90% of wages could yield over $600 billion. While the payroll tax is Social Security's primary source of funding, some seek to diversify revenue streams through other limited measures. Investing a portion of trust fund reserves into conservative market investments, as done by other nations, could yield higher returns than just government bonds. Indexing the retirement age to longevity improvements is also proposed. This would automatically increase the full retirement age over time as life expectancies rise, better balancing the ratio of working, benefiting years. Such indexing has been gradually phased in already but could be accelerated. On the benefit side, reducing certain provisions has also been raised to help with sustainability. For instance, modifying the annual cost of living adjustment formula is one area for review. While important for retaining purchasing power, some argue the current measure overstates beneficiaries' true expenses. Tweaking the calculation could save funds without dramatically reducing benefits each year. Limiting the taxation of benefits for higher earners is another option, as wealthier retirees pay lower effective tax rates on their monthly payouts than working Americans pay on wages. However, any reforms must uphold Social Security's core principles of providing an adequate, predictable foundation of support earned through work. Low-income recipients who rely on benefits for the majority of their income would need protection from reductions. While difficult political choices involving revenue and benefit adjustments are inevitable, a balanced package of strategic solutions can find middle ground. The Greenspan Commission's approach of gradually phasing in changes offers one productive model. Grassroots advocacy will also be pivotal moving forward. With its massive role in the lives of older Americans, any legislative action on Social Security's future warrants an open national discussion. Town halls, media outreach, and civic engagement can help educate citizens and channel views to representatives. Groups like the AARP and labor unions have effectively mobilized public support in the past. New campaigns are already emerging to inform voters of various reform proposals and build consensus around bipartisan answers.